Markers. Those versatile felt-tip pens are more than just tools for doodling. They play diverse roles in various aspects of our lives. From the cute drawings of children to the stern red strokes of a teacher grading papers and the bold statements of protesters on poster board signs, markers are the silent yet powerful communicators in our daily lives. With a simple stroke, they unleash vibrant hues onto paper, fabric, and countless other surfaces. But have you stopped to wonder how these colorful wonders are created? We're about to find out. Before fancy felt tips, our ancestors left their mark with natural materials like charcoal, okra, and clay. These early markers adorned cave walls with depictions of animals, hunting scenes, and even abstract symbols. While not exactly portable, they laid the foundation for future writing and artistic expression. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and writing tools became more sophisticated. Monks meticulously copied text using quills dipped in inkwells. Quills, often made from goose feathers, offered more control and precision than caveman fingers, but they were still messy and time-consuming. The 19th century ushered in a wave of writing instrument innovations. Fountain pens with their internal ink reservoirs eliminated the need for messy inkwells. However, they were expensive and prone to leaks, making them more for the elite than the everyday writer. Enter the 20th century and the dawn of the modern marker. In 1910, Lee Newman patented a felt-tipped pen, but it was clunky and impractical. In 1926, Benjamin Pascatch's fountain paintbrush offered more color options, but it still wasn't quite there. Finally, in 1953, Sidney Rosenthal's magic marker arrived. This glass tube filled with ink and a felt tip changed the game. It was colorful, versatile, and surprisingly durable, making it a hit with artists, children, and everyone in between. As Rosenthal's Speedry chemical products introduced the felt tip pen to the art supplies market, the competition intensified. In 1966, Rosenthal rebranded as Magic Marker Corporation, but by then, competitors had entered the arena. The once synonymous name, Magic Marker, faced financial struggles and filed for bankruptcy in 1980. Binney and Smith, the creators of Crayola, later acquired the rights to the Magic Marker name in 1989, ensuring its legacy lives on. Since then, markers have exploded in variety. Highlighters for studying, fine-tipped markers for precision, even dry erase markers for whiteboards. Each decade brought new innovations, making markers even more essential in our everyday lives. Making a marker all begins with tiny plastic pellets, often made from polypropylene or polyethylene. These little guys are fed into a hungry beast called an injection molding machine. Imagine a giant superheated metal syringe. The pellets are melted into a molten goo, then injected with incredible pressure into molds shaped like marker barrels. Once the mold cools, voila! We have the marker's plastic shell ready to be dressed up. Now comes the fun part, adding personality. Markers get their vibrant coats through a technique called screen printing. This is where a stencil is placed on the barrel, with ink forced through its tiny holes like paint splattering through a spider web. This method allows for intricate designs and logos, making your marker instantly recognizable. But a pretty face isn't everything. A marker's true power lies within its ink reservoir. This ingenious little piece, often made from cotton or polyester fibers, acts like a sponge, soaking up a magical potion called ink. The fibers are carefully engineered to distribute the ink evenly and consistently, ensuring smooth, streak-free lines. The ink. Oh, the ink. This concoction is a closely guarded secret, but we know its blend of dyes, pigments, solvents, and humectants, which prevent the ink from drying out. The dyes and pigments are the color magicians, while the solvents act as carriers, ensuring the ink flows smoothly. Humectants, like tiny water balloons, keep the party going by preventing the ink from drying up inside the marker. With all the pieces gathered, it's time for the grand assembly. Robotic arms, with movements as precise as a ballerina, insert the ink reservoirs and nibs, those felt tips that touch the paper, into the barrels. Plugs are popped in, caps are attached, and boom! 
a marker is born, ready to take on the world one colorful stroke at a time. But the journey isn't over yet. Each marker undergoes rigorous quality control checks. Machines test the ink flow, nib pressure, and cap fit, ensuring every marker lives up to its potential. Only the best make it to your favorite art supply store or school desk. The world of markers is constantly evolving. From erasable markers to ones with built-in glitter or metallic effects, there's a marker for every mood and occasion. Some even boast digital screens, allowing you to choose from a spectrum of colors at the touch of a button. The possibilities are endless. So, the next time you pick up a marker, remember the incredible journey it took to get there. Each marker shows human ingenuity and a celebration of creativity. So grab your markers, let your imagination run wild, and create your own masterpiece. From cave walls to classrooms, markers have come a long way. They're a testament to our human desire to express ourselves, to leave our mark on the world, and to add a splash of color to our lives. What's your favorite color marker? What do you love most about using markers? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the world of everyday objects.